Welcome back. Today we are going to solve this question. In this question, we have to find the area of the triangle. This said it reason. Can you solve this? If you can, then pause the video and take a try. Otherwise, let's see the solution. So this is our question. A, B, C. A, B, C is an equilateral triangle. Means all sides are equal. And here, the length is given. B, P is 7. A, P is 5. And C, P is 6. So we have to find the area of triangle ABC. So here at first we notice on in this triangle BPC. BPC. So this triangle we move this side and construct at this side from A to C as a copy. So this triangle and this triangle is ditto copy. So here we know that the ABC is a equilateral triangle means all angle are 60 degree this one this one and this one so here look at the figure this angle is 60 degree whole angle is 60 degree so this one is let something and from this and this and this is similar triangle so this is also a 60 degree so we can say that this one is whole is 60 degree yes so this angle is 60 degree now we join the line from P to this point so here this length and this length is equal because both are same triangle so here both are same so this both angle are equal half of 120 60 60 and this let theta so here all angle are 60 degrees so it is equilateral triangle so this length is 6 so all length are 6 and this length is 7 so we notice in triangle a p and this point so it look like this when it take odd from the figure so here is length 5 7 and 6 and this angle is theta so when the angle 5 6 and 7 in continuous so we use Alcas's law of cosines means third angle c square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2 a b cos c means cos theta so here is 7 square is equal to 5 square plus 6 square minus 2 and here is a b 5 into 6 and cos theta so here 7 square is equal to 49 and 25 plus 36 minus and this is 60 cos theta. So 49 is equal to 61 minus 60 cos theta. So from here we can find the value of cos theta. So cos theta is equal to 2 by 60 means 1 by 5. Cos theta is equal to 1 by 5. So here we find the one value. So now we notice this angle is 60 plus theta. We already find 60 plus theta. So now we notice in this triangle A, P, C. So it look like this. So the length is given 5, 6. And this length is we let x. So this is equal to triangle. When we find out the length of the triangle, we can easily find the area. So here is x. So now we have to find this value. And this angle is 60 plus theta. So here is continuous 5, 6 and x. So we use again Alcas's law of cosines. So here is x square is equal to x square is equal to 5 square plus 6 square minus 2 into 5 into 6 cos 60 plus theta. So when we break this x square is equal to 25 plus 36 minus 60 cos 60 plus theta. So here now we have to find the value of cos 60 plus theta. So when we break this cos 60 plus theta, so it, it is identity, it can be written as cos 60 into cos theta minus sin 60 into sin theta. So here cos 60, the value of cos 60 is equal to 1 by 2 into cos theta, we have find 1 by 5. So here is 1 by 5 minus sin 60 root 3 by 2. And here is sin theta is equal to, so now we have find to sin theta. So we can write sin theta is equal to under root 1 minus cos square theta. So here we find the cos theta is equal to 1 by 5. So we put the value at here 1 minus 1 by 25. So here is 24 by 25 means under root 2 under root 6 by 5. So now we put this here sin theta the value 2 under root 6 by 5. So now we calculate this here is 1 by 10 minus here is 2 under root 18 by 10. So here we LCM 10 and here 1 minus 2 under root 18. 
so it can be written as 1 minus 6 under root 2 by 10. So now we put this value at here cos 60 plus theta is equal to 1 minus 6 under root 2 by 10. We put this here x square is equal to 61 minus 60 and here is 1 minus 6 under root 2 by 10. 10. So now we can easily find the value of x. So x square is equal to 61 minus and it cancel out. So here is 6 minus 36 under root 2. Now x square is equal to 55 minus 36 under root 2. So here we find the x square x square the side in the square form this triangle this one is x square is equal to 55 minus 6 under root 2 so now we know that the area of the equilateral triangle is what is the what is the formula side square under root 3 by 4 so here this one so we already find the side in the square form 55 minus 36 under root 2 so it can be written as here 55 minus 36 under root 2 into under root 3 by 4. So when we simplify this, so it can be written as 55 under root 3 by 4 minus 36 under root 2 by into under root 3 by 4. So here it can be written as 55 under root 3 by 4 minus 36 under root 6 by 4. So now the, our final answer is 55 under root 3 by 4 minus 9 under root 6. And this one is the area of area of equilateral triangle given above. This one is our final answer. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like the video, then subscribe our channel and share it to your friends.